Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Chef Maha from Maha's Lebanese Cuisine. This season, we are in Lebanon, my hometown, Baisur, and we are at the river here, and I'm going to share with you some of my recipes that you'll love. So we are going to do today Mehshi Kusa and Batinjain and Warak Anab, all from our uh, land we planted here. So my brother helped me that, to do that before I came here. And uh, what we need for this dish, we need the squash, the eggplant, we need meat, we need rice, black pepper, salt, seven spices, tomato sauce and tomato paste. We need the oil and little butter for the flavor. And we need, of course, the grape leaves. So I curved the, zuc the zucchini and the eggplant because they take so long, a long time. And what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna make one. So I will le let you see how we, can we curve it. You cut it from here and you cut it a little bit from the bottom. And this is the zucchini curver. You go slowly. M most of the time, like you maybe, you'll ruin it, but you and your luck. You'll go slowly, slowly, take all the inside because we are going to stuff it with the rice and the meat. You see? You can make it thinner or you can keep it like this. I like to leave some meat inside so it won't be like just the skin. The eggplant, before you um, curve it, you have to roll it. So I'm gonna put it here and go with my hand, like that. You see how soft it is now? So I'm gonna cut the top and try to curve the inside. See? This is the second one. These I don't throw away because they give the um, sauce a very good, rich uh, so, uh, flavor. So I put them in the bottom of the pot and I put, you know, start stacking the zucchini and the eggplant on top of it. So I did that before. Now I'm going to start with the stuffing. So here I soaked two, two and a half cups of uh, rice, the small grain, the round one. We call it Riz Masri here. So uh, over there I use the, the rice for the sushi. So I soak those. So I'm gonna use the ground beef. You don't need it too fine. It's uh, half a kilo. And we wanna put black pepper. Seven spices. Salt, I'm not gonna put too much salt because the tomato paste here, it's too salty. So I'm gonna try it before I put too much. So I'm gonna put just a little bit and then add it, you know, while I'm cooking. So here I have, I already peeled and crushed tomato. I'm gonna put two cups, one cup here and the other one, it's gonna be with the sauce. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. I'm gonna go with, you know, like when I figure. Half a cup oil. And one tablespoon tomato paste. I'm gonna mix them. And as you know, I don't like to wear gloves because I told you I wanna put all the love for my kids when they eat it. When you mix it, you will tell if you, you need like more spices, if you like it more spicy, you can put more. For me, I can put, I'm going to put some more, like black pepper and seven spices. Because when I mix them, they still need a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit more black pepper and the seven spices. I'm gonna put a little bit more that the crushed tomato I want them like little watery, not watery, but little loose. So now we are going to start stuffing the eggplant or the, uh, anyone you want. 
you just go little by little. You have to make sure when you stuff it, don't stuff it all the way to the top because the rice has to like uh, get cooked and either it will break or they will be too strong, too uh, hard from inside. So the trick is just leave your tip of finger like here. You see my finger? <laughs> yeah. So in this way you'll make room for the rice to get cooked and expand. <laughs> see? <laughs> it's not full to the top. Just a little bit. I'm gonna make one more and then I will finish them and come back. The eggplant is much easier to stuff because they are bigger. So this is the grape leaves. We are going to stuff it too. Either you can make it vegetarian, the dolma, which is very famous. But this one we are going to make it with meat. It gives the, the, the dish very good, like soury taste. You'll love it. So you'll go like this, you put it here. You put just a little bit inside and roll it like that. Close it from the other side and here. And you go like that. Here I get fresh uh, pickled uh, dolma, uh, grape leaves. In uh, California, I'll get the uh, Orlando uh, grape leaves. It's very good. You can, uh, you can get it from any international store or Arabic store. So I'm going to finish stuffing all these and I will come back. After we stuffed this and we, we rolled the uh, grape leaves, now we are going to put it together and cook it. So this is the stuffing I'm going to put in the bottom of the tray. Usually I have more, but I forgot them at home because I did this at home last night. There is a trick my mom taught me that. I have some butter here. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna take a small piece of it and put it here. So all the butter will go inside the zucchini when you cook it. It will give it better taste and rich, richer taste. Now here I'm gonna make the stuffed grape leaves. But with this dish, we do it differently. For this one, you need a thread and you're going to stack those here, just like that. So this is the first one, I'm gonna make two, I think. I'm gonna tie it, good. Tie it from here. Just put it like that, in here. Now I'm gonna put one more. So for the sauce, I'm gonna put the tomatoes, uh, tomato sauce that I pureed earlier, half, one, tablespoon and add the water, salt, pepper, and seven spices. So now I'm gonna put this on the stove. Usually the squash and the eggplant, they don't take too long. When they start boiling, you'll turn the heat down and let them like um, cook like in very slow um, fire, 10-15 uh, minutes. So our stuffed squash and eggplant and grape leaves is ready. So now we are going to display it and then eat it because we are so hungry, we're starving. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take yummy, they smell so good. I wish you all here so you can smell the the good. This is our masterpiece. This is our dish. It's amazing, it's delicious. It takes long time to prepare, but trust me, you will love it. It's worth it. Every single minute, it's worth it. So please try to make it. Let me know how it will come out. Thank you for watching me, and I will see you next week. Bye.